So for this video, I'm going to discuss Mathematics Module Quarter 1, Week 4, Properties of Operations on the Set of Integers. So first here, what's in? This module is a continuation of the concepts of the operations on integers. So mastering the rules in previous module will help speed you up in completing this module. So perform the indicated operations. Apply the rules of the operations on integers. So this is just the review on operations on integers. Next, what's new? Exactly. Fill the blanks with the correct number that will make it exact. 8 or quantity of 8 plus blank plus blank equals blank plus quantity of 5 plus 1. What are the numbers? What property is illustrated? Okay, so given here, we're going to discuss it one later. What is it? Throughout the discussion, assume that the numbers represented by the letters A and B are integers. Now, let us start our discussion on the different properties. So, the first property, closure property, two integers that are added and multiplied remain as integers. The set of integers is closed under addition and multiplication. So, the closure property of addition for real numbers states that if A and B are real numbers, then a plus b is a unique real number. So example, adding two real numbers produces another real number. So 15 plus 16, this is not 21, but this is 31. Okay, 15 plus 16 is 31, not 21. So the number 31 is a real number. The closure property of multiplication for real numbers states that if a and b are real numbers, then A times B is a unique real number. Example, 26 times 12, 2 times 26 is 52, 1 times 26 is 26. And the result here is 312. So the number 312 is a real number. So this is just basic. So if you are going to add and multiply two integers or real number, then you can get an a unique real number or integer. For number two, commutative property, changing the order of two numbers that are either being added or multiplied does not change the value. So if we're going to have a plus b, this is just equal to b plus a. So you can just interchange the two. Or for multiplication, a times b, this is just the same as b times a. For example, if we're going to have number 1, 2 plus 3, this will be just equal to 3 plus 2 since 2 plus 3 equals 5 and also 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. Number 2, negative 16 plus negative 5, this is just the same as negative 5 plus negative 16 since both of the 2 will be equal to negative 21. Then 100 plus 99 is just equal to 99 plus 100 and number 4 2 times 3 is 3 times 2 since 2 times 3 equals 6 and also 3 times 2 equals 6 then 5 and 6 the same the note subtraction and division are not commutative so this commutative property only applies to addition and multiplication the number three, associative property, changing the grouping of numbers that are either being added or multiplied does not change its value. So for example here, quantity of A plus B plus C is equal to A plus the quantity of B plus C. And for multiplication, quantity of A times B then times C is equal to A times the quantity of b times c. So let's have examples here applying associative property. Number one, quantity of 2 plus 3, then plus 4, equals 2 plus quantity of 3 plus 4. So to check this one, quantity of 2 plus 3 is equal to 5, then plus 4 equals 9. Quantity of 3 plus 4 equals 7, then 
7 plus 2 equals 9. So, they are just equal. Number 2, quantity of 10 plus 5 plus 8 equals 10 plus a quantity of 5 plus 8. Quantity of 10 plus 5 is equal to 15. Then, plus 8 equals 23. Then, quantity of 5 plus 8 is 13. Then, 13 plus 10 is also 23. So, they are equal. Then, for multiplication, example here, quantity of 4 times 3 times 5 is equal to 4 times the quantity of 3 times 5. So, 4 times 3 is 12. Then, times 5 equals 60. Then, 3 times 5 here is 15. Times 4 equals 60. So, they are equal. Then, number 4, 2 times 10, or quantity of 2 times 10 times 4 equals 2 times the quantity of 10 times 4. 2 times 10 is 20. Then, times 4 equals 80. Then, 10 times 4 here is 40, times 2 is 80. So, equal. Then, another note here, subtraction and division are not associative. So, again, this only applied to addition and multiplication. Next is distributive property. When two numbers have been added or subtracted and then multiplied by a factor, the result will be the same when each number is multiplied by the factor and the products are then added or subtracted. So, in symbol, A times the quantity of B plus C is just equal to A times B plus A times C. Or, another one for subtraction, A times the quantity of B minus C is equal to A times B minus A times C. So, in here, just distributed A to each of the terms inside the parentheses. Okay. So, examples, 2 times the quantity of 3 plus 4. This is just the same as 2 times 3. Then, add plus 2 times 4. This one. Okay. So, in checking, 2 times the quantity of 3 plus 4. So, quantity of 3 plus 4 is 7. Then 2 times 7 is 14. Then 2 times 3 here is 6. 2 times 4 is 8. So 6 plus 8 equals 14. So they are equal. Number 2. 5 times the quantity of 8 minus 3 equals 5 times 8 minus 5 times 3. So 8 minus 3 is 5. Then 5 times 5 is 25. Then 5 times 8 here is 40. 5 times 3 is 15, so minus 15. So, 5 times 5 is 25. 40 minus 15 is also 25. So, again, they are equal. Number 5, identity property. So, first, let's have additive identity. So, additive identity states that the sum of any number and 0 is the given number. So, 0 is called as the additive identity. So, a plus 0 equals a. So, again, any number added to 0 is the same number. So, for example, number 1, 4 plus 0 is equal to 4. 2, negative 10 plus 0 equals negative 10. And 99 plus 0 equals 99. Letter B, multiplicative identity. So, this one states that the product of any number and 1 is the given number. A times 1 equals A. 1 is called as the multiplicative identity. Okay, so A times 1 is equal to A. So examples, number 1, 12 times 1 equals 12. 2, negative 32 times 1 equals negative 32. 3, 99 times 1 is 99. And also, if we're going to have 1 million times 1, it's also the same number, 1 million. 6, inverse property. First, additive inverse states that the sum of any number and its additive inverse is 0. So, the additive inverse of a positive number is the negative of that number. That is, a plus negative a, the negative of the number, equals 0. And the additive inverse of a negative number is the positive of that number. That is, negative a, then additive inverse for negative a is a, so plus a equals 0. So, example here, 9 plus the additive inverse, negative 9, is equal to 0. 
negative 5 plus its additive inverse 58 equals 0. And number 3, 99 plus the additive inverse negative 99 equals 0. Then let's have letter B, multiplicative inverse property. So this one states that the product of any number and its multiplicative inverse or reciprocal is 1. So the multiplicative inverse of the number A is 1 over A. It's reciprocal. Okay? So A times 1 over A equals 1. So example, 6 times its reciprocal, 1 over 6 equals 1. 2 negative 22 times negative over 1, 22 equals 1. 3, 4 over 7 times 7 over 4 equals 28 over 28 or 1. Then 5 over 8 times 8 over 5 equals 40 over 40 equals 1. Next is what's more. So A, identify the property used in each of the statements below. So just select from the properties that we have discussed earlier. The letter B, rewrite the following expressions using the given property. So this one, distributive property for number 1. This is 8 times a quantity of 2 plus 5. So we can have this one as our example. So we're going to distribute 8 to each of the terms inside the parentheses. So we're going to have this one as 8 times 2, then plus 8 times 5. So can they do 2, 3, 4, and 5? Next, what I have learned. To sum it up, let us complete the statements. Choose your answer from the box that best completes the statements below. So your choices here will be the words or terms inside the box. Then you have there 10 numbers. Then what I can do. So here is another activity that lets you apply what you learned about the properties of operations on the set of integers. A. Identify the properties applied in the following real life situations. The next is assessment, so you're going to answer uh, 10 or 15 questions applying what you have learned in our discussion. Then additional activities, A, identify the properties being described below. So the, on the left side are the description, then you're going to have or write or identify the properties being described. So you have their five numbers. And for letter B, fill in the blanks and determine what properties were used to solve the equations. So that's it for this video. Thank you and have a good day.